Hey guys, this is Rabbity as well, Animation Bliss, and as you can tell by the title of this video, I have some tragic news to talk about to people. Chris Savino, the creator of The Loud House, was accused of sexual harassment, and Nickelodeon ended up firing him over it. Now, this is going to be a re really hard video for me to do because normally I don't talk about stuff like this. I don't talk about... Um, uh, taboo stuff like politics or personal lives with creators and actors but I feel like this is an issue I gotta talk about because it involves one of my favorite shows that's currently on Nickelodeon and um, one of the most beloved shows that's currently airing on cable network right now and you know this is a really hard subject for me to talk about because you know this is a horrible situation um, you know, having the creator be accused of sexual harassment. And um, this is amid all the Harvey Weinstein um, sexual harassment cases against him. And I could go on and on about how I feel about sexual harassment in Hollywood and how I feel like, you know, at least now people are starting to speak out against he sexual harassment. And um, I feel like, you know, there should never be sexual harassment in Hollywood. It's a horrible thing. It's an even more horrible thing to be accused of it, but it's sexual harassment is horrible, and I could talk more about all that, but this is not the time and place to talk about this. This is about regarding Chris Savino himself being accused of sexual harassment and what it means for the Loud House in the long run. Now, I love watching the Loud House. I think it's um, a very inspiring show. Um, there's a lot of good moments in the show. The characters are great, and to have... Um, the creator of one of your favorite shows be accused of sexual harassment is a really, really horrible thing to go through, you know, because it's like you don't want to believe this is happening, but sometimes real life has a nasty way of getting into the entertainment world and you're kind of forced to deal with the um, issues that it presents itself in the entertainment world and just how you feel about it. And I feel like this was one of those issues I really didn't want to talk about, but at the same time, I felt like if I didn't say anything about this, you know, it was going to um, be on my mind. It's going to haunt me for a long time, and I didn't want to be haunted by it. By it, you know, I wanted to speak my mind about this issue and how it would affect me um, as a viewer of the Loud House. And um, again, this is a very hard video to do, and you could tell I'm really upset about this because I never thought this would happen. But um, as much as I'm upset about the whole sexual ac accusations against Chris Savino, I'm all, I'm more upset about what's g what um, kind of effect it's going to have on the Loud House as a show, and the staff and um, the rest of the staff members working on the show. Um, I'm glad that Nickelodeon is saying you know the Loud House would still go on without Chris Savino, and this is not the first show on Nickelodeon where the creator was fired or left, and um, the show got canceled. Uh, the show continued on without them. Like in the case of Ren and Stimpy, um, John K, the creator, um, got fired from doing Ren and Stimpy, but the show still went on. And um, the creator of SpongeBob SquarePants stepped down from his position as creator, but the show still went on. And a similar thing happened with Clarence on Cartoon Network, where the creator of the show was accused of sexual harassment. And um. Since I don't watch Clarence that much, I'm not sure what's going on with that show at the moment after, amid those that controversy. But this is a really hard thing to talk about because you, you just want to believe, you know, none of these horrible things are happening in the entertainment world. But sometimes it does and you're forced to um, deal with it. You're forced to realize that sometimes real life gets in the way and it could be really gruesome. It could be really hard to take in. But you have to figure out how where you go from there after um, seeing all these um, atrocities going on. And also, I'm really, anyone who's a huge fan of The Loud House, I'm so sorry that you had to go through all this. Like, again, it's a hard time for many Loud House fans to deal with um, this situation. And I, I really hope The Loud House and the staff working on it um, still continue to um, pers uh persevere even without Chris Savino's input because um, I, I feel like the people working on the Loud House don't deserve to be fired for something that the creator himself um, was accused of and um, you know 
I, I want to see The Loud House continue on since I, I feel like it's an inspiring show. I really enjoy the show, and I really don't want to see the show get taken off the air because of this controversy. Um, so um, I'm really sorry for The Loud House fans who have to go through this. And, you know, let me know in the comments below how do you feel about the situation? Have you heard about this situation? Um, are you um, upset about all this and what you hope? Uh, do you hope that the Loud House will still continue after all this? You know, let me know. Because um, as Loud House fans, you know, we all need to um, try to uh, figure out, you know, just band together on, on, on this um, controversy and this travesty and just show our support, you know, for the people working on the Loud House, for the staff themselves, for the voice actors. You know, we need to show support for the people who are still working on the show. Because, again, I don't think they deserve... Um, to be, uh, you know, fired or whatever just because of what happened with the creator. I think they need the support. This support is just as much as we as the fans need um, support right now. So let me know in the comments below how do you feel about this whole situation. Um, will you still watch The Loud House after all this? Or, you know, would you give up on the show? Let me know in the comments below. And I'm so sorry this had to happen. This is Rabdeus Blog Animation Bliss, and I'll see you later.